Welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting and our weekly look back at the hot comics from six months ago. This week we're looking back at the hot comics from March 24th, 2023 and I'm recording this on September 22nd, 2023. Uh, as always, I give you those dates so you know when this information is actually most relevant. And as always, we're looking back at the CBSI Hot Top 10 and the Comic Tom Key Collector Hottest Trending Comics of the Week. Uh, each week they put out a list of 10 books. Um, that are trending or hot in the market and we come back six months later to see how they've performed in the market since they were hot whether you've been better off being patient usually the case <laughs> or whether they were worth chasing and what factors play into which books are worth chasing and which books um, you'd be better off just being patient on so uh, with that let's dig into this list we got 18 books to talk about between the two lists this week uh, with over only two overlaps so let's see what we can learn uh, first up we have uh, we have a bunch of covers this week that were on the CBSI list. And first up, we have Star Wars The Mandalorian, number eight, the EM Gist WonderCon variant that was limited to 800. Uh, raw copies of this were going for 80 plus back then. Uh, now it is a five to fifteen dollar book. Uh, a 9.8 signed went for 60. That's a giant dumpster fire, and the first of many we're going to talk about this week, but that's a giant dumpster fire. It's a cool cover, but there's been, at this point, there's been a ton of these Grogu, Jinjarin covers. Um, it's got, only a couple of them are really going to ultimately hold value. This is not one of those. Boy, if you chase this one, that hurts. Uh, next, we have Catwoman number 52, the Will Jack WonderCon variant. Uh, this one was also going for $80 back then and doing better than the, the previous book at 20 to 30, but still not good. 9.8s are still go are going 50 to 80, so less than what the raw copies were back then. Yeah, another one that's an ouch. This is another dumpster fire. Uh, I told you there was going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of flames early in this list as we go through it. Um, and yeah, just another cover that did not sustain and was definitely worth waiting on. Uh, we will see. Like, there's been a lot, I feel like a lot of store and con variants from this Will Jack uh, in the last year or so. We'll see if this is an artist that stands the test. I'm not that huge a fan, I'll be honest, but we'll see. Uh, next, we have Lazarus Planet, Revenge of the Gods, number one, the Daniel Sampier 1 in 50 foil cover of Wonder Woman here. Uh, back then, this one was going, this 1 in 50 was going for 125, which on a 1 in 50 is getting toward that range. It's between double and triple ratio. Getting toward that range where it might hold, but probably isn't all be back. Uh, wrong. This is now a 60 to $100 book in a 9.8. I couldn't find any recent raw sales because people were asking more than people were paying, and it was less than the 60 to $100 uh, 9.8 price. A 10.0 went for 400 which is just kind of cool, but yeah, this is a dumpster fire if you paid $125 for a raw copy of this book, um, when you can now get 9.8s for significantly less than that. Um, all right, so yeah, we're going to continue the cover dumpster fire here. We got Milestone 30th Anniversary Special number one. Uh, the Billson gave it 1 in 25. 50 to 85, so between double and triple ratio back then, which is not a good sign. I think I put, I'll be back. I really should put trap when it's in that range. Uh, and this one is also a dumpster fire because it's all the way down to 30. Um, and yeah, with just two sales, 9.8 went for 86, uh, which is the high end of what Raws were going for back then. Yeah, it's, it was not a good week for covers. That's for darn sure. Um, Next, we have Deceased, War of the Undead Gods, number seven, the Ben Oliver variant, uh, this Purple Rain homage. These are very popular. This one, luckily, was only going 10 to $15 back then, so it's fall to a 5 to $15 book, with most of the sales being under 10 uh, 9.8 is going only going 30 to 50 Yeah, it turns it into an I'll be back, so our first non-dumpster fire of the week on our fifth book. Um yeah, that just tells you the kind of week it is. But uh, there, at this point, there's a ton of these. I know there's a market for these Purple Rain things. Uh, this one's not, never went too crazy. So if you put, bought in at 10 to 15, you did okay. But it'd been, you'd been worth it just to kind of be patient and come back later. Uh, next, we have Batman, One Bad Day, Raz Al Ghul. Um, the Brian Bolin, 1 in 100, that was going for right around ratio at 110 back then, uh, which is, also not usually a good sign. And then we got a 9.8 going for 100. And that's the only sale because none of the other 
copies are moving. Uh, this is also a dumpster fire. When you get a 9.8 less than you can get a raw, never a good sign. And yeah, this is a book that also has fallen way, way back. Um, and yeah, you can only get one sale here. So there's just, yeah, not a lot of interest in this book now at all. Uh, our last cover from the CBSI list this week is Red Goblin, number one, uh, the second print, Alexander Lozano, 1 in 25, that was going 50 to 60, this Red Goblin cover, people were jumping on 50 to 60, and now it's a $10 book, and that's only one sale, 9.875, and yeah, another dumpster fire, so that's six of our first seven books, six of these seven covers all turned into dumpster fires, um, this was a rough week. <laughs> if you bought into these books, this was a rough week. Um, it gets a little better from here, but yeah, it's not a good book to chase the hot books of the week for sure. Or not a good week to chase the hot books of the week. Um, all right, we're going to move away from covers and things get a little better. Uh, we have Shazam, Fury of the Gods, the AMC giveaway edition that you can only get at AMC theaters. Uh, this was only going, another one only going 10 to 15, so not a huge range to drop way, way off. Now it's a five to ten dollar book. So now I'll be back. You could argue maybe even trap with these prices, but yeah, down in and I'll be back. This is not unusual. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised it's still getting as high as ten dollars for this one given the way the movie performed. Uh, usually these movie giveaways don't hold very much, hold at all once you get away from the movie. Uh, next, we have Kanan, The Last Padawan, number 10, uh, the first appearance of Finn Rao, uh, who was being specced for The Mandalorian show. Um, so before The Mandalorian, he, the speculation, it was like a $10 to $15 book. Uh, I don't actually remember if this character showed up or not, uh, but back then it was going for 30 to 40 uh, 9.8 was going for 150 Now it's a $15 to $25 book, 9.8. Only one sale going for 70 So this is a trap. This is when I actually predicted dumpster. The only prediction of a dumpster fire back then. And I was wrong. But it was still a trap here. And a book that's dropped way, way back. Um, and then our last CBSI book this week was Punisher 219. The first full appearance of Punisher in the War Machine armor. Somebody explain this to me. He appears in 218 in the War Machine armor. How do we have cameo and full appearances of somebody in a costume? He was in the costume in 218. He was in the suit in 218. How is this the first full? I don't I don't understand how that works. But back then people were going for $50. This was going for $50 plus for raw copies. Now it's a $10 to $50 book, but most of the sales are 20 to 30. Uh, 9.8, uh, 95 to 150. This is a trap uh, and a book that's fallen way back. And again, I don't understand cameos of costumes. Either they're in it or they're not. Um, but anyway, that's, yeah, people are chasing this one as well as 218. Uh, all right, next, we're going to move into the Tom list. Um, so this is one of those where I just did the Tom list after the fact. Uh, they had eight books here that were different. Uh, first up, we have Gears of War, number one uh, from 2008. And we got the announcement that in addition to the live action movie, uh, Netflix was going to do an animated series to follow that movie up. Uh, caused this book to hit the list again. Uh, back then, $30 to $50 for raw copies. $9.8, $125 to $150. Now it's a $20 to $35 cop book for a raw copy. $9.8, $125 all the way to $260. So you can say, whoa, 9.8s are up a little bit, uh, even though raw copies are down. But there's only a couple of those sales that drive that 9.8 up as opposed to a bunch of sales on raw copy showing that it's down. So we're going to go with down and I'll be back on this one overall because you can definitely get into the raw copies a little bit cheaper than you could back then. And there are more of those out there. Uh, next, we have Batman number 436, the first appearance of Tim Drake. This had to do with Titan season four coming out and Tim was finally going to be in costume. So his first appearance was hitting the list again. Uh, $15 back then, 9.8 hit 250 and... Yeah, this became what you would expect, and I'll be back here now. It's a $5 to $20 book raw, but most of them, like except for really, really high grade copies, you can get for under that 15 from before. But 9.8s have backed up just a little bit, 2 to 225, um, kind of back to where this book typically is. It didn't jump that much with this news, and it didn't hasn't fallen back that much. It just kind of went back to what it normally is. Um, 
All right, next we have All-Star Superman, number one uh, from 2005. And this hit the list because there was a post with James Gunn reading it. Uh, he said something about doing research. So people jumped on this sort of. It was just a big increase in sales, not an increase in value. Raw copies were $3 average back then, 9.8118. Now it's a 3 to $15 book, 9.8130. We're going to call it steady and worth it. It'd be like steady and worth it because my guess is really the sales were probably pretty close to this maybe you could argue up worth it but we're just gonna go steady you can still get this book for super cheap and the 9.8 there's not enough sales there to really say oh the 9.8s are worth a lot more um just not so all right next we have x-men adventures number one from 1992 so the first comic adaptation of the animated series um and basically, back then, rock copies were going for $15 to $20, 9.8250. Now, it's a $5 to $15 book, 9.8160. So this is another one of those um, books that turned into a trap. This one is backed up. I don't know when we're actually getting this, the revival of the animated series, I guess, at some point. But um, not sure exactly what's going to go on here. Uh, all right, next we have... Uncanny X-Men, number 221, the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. This is also going along with the revival of the X-Men animated series because he's supposed to be the big bad here at the start of the, the first season or the new season coming back. Um, back then, 20 to $70 for Mr. Sinister for raw copy, 370 to 500 for 9.8. And now it's a 15 to $75 copy for raw copy. So very steady on the raw side. 9.8 are backed up, 275 to 325. But again, vast majority of sales are on the raw side. So we're going to call it steady and I'll be back. You can maybe argue I should say down and I'll be back. Um, it's borderline down and trap really for 9.8 here. So it's kind of one of those, it's in the middle here where you get the 9.8s are backed up a lot, but the raw copies have stayed very steady. So kind of splitting the difference here with the steady and I'll be back. Um, all right, three books left to talk about. First up, Moon Knight Annual, number one. First, Moon Knight versus Kang. And they're basically um, rumors that we're going to get a Moon Knight season two and that Rama Tut would show up because tying all this together and with the next phase of the MCU. A lot has happened since then. I don't know that we're ever getting a season two of Moon Knight, maybe. Um, but that was what caused this book to hit the list. 20 to $40 back then. Now it's a 15 to $25 book. Uh, so, yeah, this one is backed up significantly, and it's definitely into the trap range. I mean, if you bought on the lower end, you did fine. But if you bought, if you spent 30 to 40, then you're def definitely way overpaid. So, uh, all right. Two books. We got Captain America 606, the first appearance of Janice Lincoln, uh, the daughter of Tombstone. Uh, and she was hitting, the, this book was hitting the list because she was being rumored for the Daredevil show, which who knows when we're going to get that with everything, with all the strikes and stuff. Uh, back then, raw copies were going for 3 to 10. Now, raw copy is 2 to 10. Um, so, another one that is backed well up. Um, or not backed up. It's steady and worth it. I said whatever back then because, like, it was a 3 to $10 book. There's not really anywhere for it to go. It just was a bunch of sales. We haven't, we're not having a bunch of sales now, but it's steady. So, not a surprise here. There wasn't really any place for this book to go in terms of down. And it definitely didn't go up. So... Uh, all right, last book of the week. Shockingly, we had more Mephisto <laughs> rumors. Well, we never had those before. Uh, Silver Surfer number three hitting the list because Shasha Baron Cohen's going to be Mephisto, or at least that's the rumor. Uh, back then, rock copies were going for 100 to $500, and 8.0 hit 9 to 1200 um, this is one of those where Tom had an average of like $1,400 for this book, which made no sense. But uh, when you looked at the actual eBay sales, um, unless you just included a really high copy to, that overwhelmed all the other sales. Um, now raw copies are 100 to 400 And that may just be because there wasn't as nice a copy as that 500 went. But yeah, it's basically that same range on the raw side. But 8.0 is backed up 7 to 8.50 on the sales there. So definitely, and I'll be back on this book uh, as we've moved away from Mephisto rumors again. The book has slid back down again. Uh, eventually, this book is going to be straight cash compared for all these sales and purchases. But for now, you've been better off avoiding the news, which even on a big book like this is usually the case. So 
That is this week's list. We had 18 books to talk about, and it was a dumpster fire at the beginning for sure. Um, but, and just down, down, down pretty much all throughout. But I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next time. Yeah.